Hello and welcome to the video IntelliJ Idea Connect to Microsoft SQL Server with me Nam Ha Ming from Code.java.net Through this video, I'd like to share with you how to connect and manage the database on Microsoft SQL Server right inside IntelliJ Idea using the built-in database tool provided by IntelliJ Idea so you don't have to use any external tools like SQL Server Management Studio It will also be helpful in case you want to manage the database uh, on a remote instance of SQL Server without having to install the SQL Server client tools on the computer. In details, I will show you how to make connection to a SQL Server and then how to create a new table, how to manage data in a table, how to execute SQL statements. And I suppose that you are using the following software programs Java Development Kit and IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition on the computer and Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Express Edition on the remote computer. This is IntelliJ IDEA on my computer and as you can see, I'm using IntelliJ IDEA uh, version uh, 2020.1.2 Ultimate Edition here. And uh, on the left, you can see I have a Java project opened here. And to work with the uh, database, you need to open the database tool window. So to the right side of the IDE, you can see the database tool window here. So click here to open the database tool window. And from this, you can make a new connection to a specific uh, database. If you don't see this uh, database tool window, you can go to the menu view tool view tool windows and click database here. Now I'm going to create a new connection to Microsoft SQL Server. So in the database tool window here, click the plus button here and data source and click on Microsoft SQL Server here. Yeah, uh, name the data source, uh, for example, hmm, customer database on SQL Server and specify the host name. Uh, here I'm uh, using a remote instance of SQL Server, so I specify the host name uh, different than local host which is the host name as QL as RV here and specify the instance name the default instance name of uh, SQL Server Express is SQL Express and uh, choose the authentication type is user and password or SQL Server authentication and specify the username and password and specify the database name you want to work uh, with here I want to work with the database name customer and you can see the ZBC URL here and click the download uh, link here to download the JDBC driver for Microsoft SQL Server click here so you can see using IntelliJ IDEA it is very easy and convenient you don't have to leave the IDE to download the JDBC driver for SQL Server you can download right inside the IDE okay and you can see the driver name is uh, Microsoft uh, SQL Server here click here go to driver and you can see the latest version of SQL Server and downloaded by IntelliJ IDEA is the version 8.2.2 here very convenient right and click the back button here okay so that's for the uh, information of the data source for Microsoft SQL Server 
you can also specify additional options uh, here in the options tab advanced tab here but generally we need to specify this information host name instant name username password database name and click the test connection button here and you can see the uh, result here Microsoft SQL Server version uh, 15 and uh, that means uh, IntelliJ IDEA has connected successfully to the remote instance of Microsoft SQL Server and then click OK and you can see IntelliJ IDEA opens a new uh, console for uh, writing, editing, executing SQL statement to the left here and in the database view you can see the database name here and you need to click this ellipsis button here to choose the uh, schema here I want to work with the schema database customer here and I choose the choose schema name DBO here Okay, and you can see the database customer appears here. DBO here, and you can see there are three tables in this uh, database categories. You can see the column here, customer table columns here, products table columns here, and to view the data in this in the table, you can right click on the double click on the table double click on customers table here and it will open the, a new uh, tab uh, that list the rows in the table here you can see the content of the table customers on Microsoft SQL Server here the database tool in IntelliJ IDEA is very advanced it allows you to uh, do almost, almost everything with uh, database you know, from creating a new table, creating new schema, new database, uh, modify the structure of the table, modify command, modify table here. It is very advanced, uh, so I think. Uh, Using this database tool, we don't need to use any external tool like a SQL Server Management Studio. Everything uh, you can uh, do right inside in IntelliJ IDEA. And also in the output view, you can see some uh, information here connected to server and a SQL statement printed here. So you can check uh, what uh, happened. Now I will create a new table. So right click on the DBO node here, new table here. And I'm going to create a new table with name is uh, brands. And add some columns to this table the first column is a primary key with the name is the id type integer and it is not no auto increment primary key here and you can see the uh, sql script immediately below here very convenient and the second column is uh, the brand name data type is uh, Vacha, which the length is uh, 45 characters, not null. And that's it. Uh, you can review the SQL statement here. You can add more columns uh, by clicking on the plus button here. Now, well, I and just create this table with two columns and click execute
Energy's uh, brand uh, table has been created here. You see, it has two columns, ID and name here, with the primary key is the ID column here. Now I will insert some uh, new rows into this new table, brands. Double click on the table name to open up the table editor. You can see the table is now empty. And to add a new row, you can click the plus button on the toolbar here, add new row. And I enter the name, brand name for the name column. And you can see in the ID column, it says that the value will be, will be generated name Samsung. You can click the plus button to add more column, more rows. Apple, Microsoft, Google, and when done, you can uh, click the submit button to commit the changes. Yeah, you can see the submit button here. Click. You can see. Uh, IntelliJ IDEA has uh, executed the SQL insert uh, statements here, insert into a brand's table here with values Microsoft, Google here, Apple, Samsung here. Very easy, very convenient, very useful, right? Uh, similarly, you can also manage data in another table. For example, I want to manage data in the customer's table here. And I want to insert a, I want to update uh, the customer name Ravi Kumar Krishna here. And delete the last name Krishna. And update the S to uh, 36. And when you click the uh, submit button here to commit the changes, submit. And in the output, you can see the update uh, sequence statement here. Update customer table set name equal Ravi Kumar is uh, 36 where ID equal here. And uh, I want to delete this uh, customer. So select this row and right click and click delete row from the context menu here and you can see the row is marked as uh, deleted with a gray background here and when done click the submit button here to commit the changes and in the output view you can see the delete sequence statement here delete from the table customers where id equal one here so you can see it's very easy to manage uh, data in a table right inside the IDE. Now I will show you how to write and execute some SQL statements. Uh, when you create a new connection, you can see uh, it we open the uh, SQL uh, console here. You see that allows you to write and execute SQL statement here. If you don't see this uh, SQL console uh, editor, you can right click on the connection name here and click open query console here or press the shortcut key F4. Okay, now let me write a select statement, select asterisk from uh, the table uh, products here. And to execute this SQL statement, you can click the uh, execute button here or press the shortcut key, control enter. And we can see the results appear below here for the uh, select SQL statement here. There are two rows in the products table here. So you can see it is very easily to um, write a SQL statement with the succession auto completion. Now I want to update the product with ID to update the product set 
you can see it suggests the columns names here set name equal Amazon Kindle file where ID equal to this is an update SQL statement and to execute this uh, SQL statement only you will select it and click the execute button here and in the output you can see the result of the update SQL statement here one row affected here and click here to see refresh here to see the result Amazon Kindle Fire here so you can see it is very easy and convenient uh, for writing, editing and executing SQL statements right inside IntelliJ IDEA and when finished working with the database you can disconnect from the database by right clicking on the connection name here and click disconnect here or press the red button here to disconnect and you can see it has been disconnected and to uh, connect again you can uh, uh, double click open the uh, uh, table and it will automatically uh, connect to the database again and you see so far you have learned how to connect and manage a SQL Server databases right inside IntelliJ IDEA and as you have seen it is uh, very easy uh, to use uh, the database tool provided by IntelliJ IDEA and it is very advanced you can do almost uh, everything with uh, databases right inside the IntelliJ IDEA I hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching